Hey, this is Dave Crenshaw. Right now I'm in beautiful Puerto Rico where I was invited to speak to the Food Industry Association executives. I'm going to show you a clip from that in just a second, so hang in there. First, what I want to do is give you an exercise. In fact, it's the exercise that I did with them to teach the importance of paying attention to people. Here's how the exercise goes. You can do this in your next group meeting. You get people to pair up. And the first person talks to the second person about something that they're passionate about, excited about, a family member they're proud of. Okay, 30 seconds, they talk, the other person listens. Then we switch roles. So the person who was just listening now speaks. And they talk for 30 seconds about something they're passionate about or excited about while the other person listens with one important difference. Now the listener multitasks on the other person. They switch tasks. They're looking at their phone. They're, you know, they're saying, uh-huh, uh-huh, that thing that people do. They're kind of listening, but they're also kind of looking at their phone. At the end of 30 seconds, we ask the person who was just speaking, how did that make you feel? In one word, how did it feel to have someone else multitask on you? And you'll get the answers, variety of answers. Often, you're going to hear things like, disrespected or unimportant. Those are the kind of answers I got from the Food Industry Association executives here in Puerto Rico, and this was my response from the stage. I would like you to think for just a moment of one word about how that made you feel. I'm talking in particular to the person who was being switch tasked upon. The other person was playing with their phone while you were talking to them. How did that make you feel? Let's hear some words. Disrespected. Disrespected. Awkward. Awkward. <laughs> More motivated than what? To get their attention. Oh, you, were, you were working hard to get their attention. Yeah. Waste of time. How did it make you feel personally? Annoyed. Okay. Imagine this situation. You wake up, you start your day, you go downstairs, you see a loved one, you say, hi, honey, I'm going to disrespect you. What are you going to do today? <laughs> or someone calls your office and you say, thank you for calling XYZ Association where you're disrespected. How can I help you? We would never do that, right? But we do that. Right? Whenever you switch tasks on a human being, you are communicating to them, whether or not you intend it, that they are unimportant. That they are less important than whatever it is that you're doing in the moment. It's why one of the switchbusters that you have to implement is that you focus on people. If you want to be inefficient and switch tasks, all over yourself during your day in the workplace, go for it. But when you're talking to a human being, there is no way to avoid that switching cost. No matter how effective you are, you think you are at multitasking. The best testimonial that I ever received, and I can't share it, you'll understand why, in terms of name, comes from the wife of that executive that I talked about. Remember the man who was switch tasking all over people, asking quick questions constantly? I went to dinner with them one night. And we were starting to leave, we were putting on our coats, and she, she came to me and pulled me aside. And with tears in her eyes, said, I don't know what you did to my husband, but thank you. Because now he had learned to stop switch tasking on her and stop switch tasking on their children. It's a beautiful thing. When you live in a world that's addicted to this switch tasking, when you can be different. You know, one word that I hear sometimes when I do this exercise with people normal. Normal. It's normal for people to ignore me. It's normal for people to disrespect me. If it's normal, then you can stand out. You can differentiate yourself and communicate with people, both with your body language and with your eyes and with your ears. I have nothing more important 
to do than listen to you right now.